up planet it is the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading in today's pick a card reading we're going to be looking at how to manifest your dreams so i'm going to be looking at some blockages in manifesting your dreams overall what your higher self and universe wants to express to you in order to help you manifest your dreams in a more practical and realistic way so today is going to be about deep soul food messages pertaining to manifesting your dreams in this lifetime if you guys are new to the channel shout out to all of the new subscribers welcome to the channel and also the tarot tribe if you guys are new don't forget to hashtag down below tarot tribe so that we can welcome you guys to the family i guess it's a family now i mean so many of you guys i began to create relationships with and it has been an amazing experience so i'm excited for today's reading if you guys are not already following me on instagram follow me at the tarot priest also the last announcement that i have other than if you guys want to book a session you know that you can find that in the description box below but the soul journey webinar this next soul journey webinar we're going to be talking about becoming the magician and manifesting your dreams so whether you're here in the month of august or after august you can still find it on my website thetarotpriest.com to stream it on demand all right let's hop into today's reading and see what you guys have in store for how to manifest your dreams we have four different decks for you to choose from. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. If you guys are new to a pick a card or pick a deck reading, feel free to pause the video or check the timestamps down below for the deck that you are selecting. Again, we have four different decks, one, two, three, and four. All right, let's see how you guys can manifest your dreams. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in how to manifest your dreams. All right, we're going to start with the overall secrets and fortune. The high priestess, queen of swords in reverse, and the emperor. You guys could be in areas you don't have to be but we do already have Aries on the board. I'm really strongly feeling that there are still things being revealed about your dreams and exactly the desires that you want. In fact, I'm feeling like there's just a little bit of indecisiveness when it comes to moving forward with your dreams. Yeah. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. So this is about gaining a new perspective and also seeing things differently. There is a lot of action on the board. So I do feel like there is a lot of ambition here. There is still more potential is what I'm hearing. Things that you still do not know about yourself Things are being revealed, even with this card, the secrets here. Anytime the secrets are on the board, this is sometimes could be subconscious things. It doesn't have to be like a malicious secret. This could be things that are you're still not aware of, uh, places that you're still not exactly sure of where you want to be. Activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Yeah. So a lot of this is about the faith. And a lot of you have amazing dreams, things that you're very ambitious about. And some of you may even have dreams that you have at night, active dreams that bring you to a place that is not like here. I remember, it's so crazy, they're bringing me back to this dream when I was a child. I would always dream of this place um, in the Lion King movie, you know, that scene where Simba and Nala, they're in this place and it's just beautiful and i kept having that dream on repeat and i kept having that dream on repeat and so a lot of you have had dreams or have had slight visions about where or what exactly life you are here to live in the dreams that you want to achieve in this lifetime fall into my arms but there is the biggest disconnect that i'm seeing with your dreams not happening as quickly because some of you have experienced great things in your life, but there is more. I'm still feeling like there is more. And you know also that there is more that you can experience. And this has nothing to do with other people and more so to do with you, patience and planning. 
So yeah, another thing that I'm seeing is a way that they're showing me how to manifest your dreams is to think of a place or think of the dream that you desire to live right before you go to sleep. And I don't know why they're saying this, but right before you go to sleep and start thinking about the life that you want to live before you go to bed. It's very important. Your dreams, they just keep bringing me back to your dreams and the things that you still don't know about. So some of you may have dreams, but sometimes you don't really see the entire thing. This is also in retrospect with you. So they're saying if you cannot see it, then it will not happen. So even in this reality, you have to work on seeing what you want to happen rather than what you don't want to happen and planning, okay? Even if you feel like now is not the time, some of you have a lot of travel dreams, okay? We have this person on the boat right here, the six of swords, forward movement. Some of you, a lot of, yeah. They're saying also that some of the dreams, you've had opportunities come by, um, but there, there was some things in the past where you didn't want to go alone, meaning moving forward, going after your dreams. Like some of you didn't want to leave people behind. So a lot of opportunities I'm hearing, and again, there's going to be a lot of you, but I'm hearing specifically, some of you may even have like uh, college scholarships or athletic scholarships or some, some type of opportunity that could have been out of state where you decided not to go because of another person. And it, it's due to like compassion. So they're saying like another thing is choose yourself when you're manifesting your dreams, not always including others, but choosing yourself and, and following that path. And this is why they're saying that it's very important that you trust where you're being led because sometimes you're, you're just not going to know that you're being led there. Yeah. Patience. So I hear another thing is that some of you are afraid that you will miss something. So you're ready for things to happen now. We also have the seven of politics. Yeah, people. So the seven of swords is usually like uh, a lack of trust or you see this person has a mask, you know, trusting the wrong people. And that's why they're saying now it's time to start trusting yourself to lead yourself. You are the sailor of the boat. And that's why the emperor card is here. It's walking in, in your power and being who you are not worrying about the people that are going to be around aloneness. Yeah. It's like, you have to leave things behind. And that's kind of, um, in a sense, a, a way of self-sabotage because there's this place that you want to go, that your spirit is really desiring to go. But sometimes you feel bad with leaving people behind. That was before some of you are getting out of that energy and starting to become more selfish in the sense of doing things for yourself. Let's see what else is here. Nothingness. There's also a spiritual awakening that's occurring in your life. And maybe you've chosen a lot of decks on my pick a card that have said that, but with the nothingness, this is about understanding that we're here for an experience and not getting attached to things and people. And, and only because, and only because of your heart. So in a sense, this selfishness is about more of a self-love. We are the world. We're all connected. Ten of pentacles. So on the brighter side, you have a lot of abundance in, your, in the dreams that you do have. And I do feel like your dreams, your heart, your soul is going to create these visions and these ideas in the dreams that you need for the guidance. So remember when you're looking for guidance around you, we're always, we're very logical, we're human. So it's like, well, how do I do this? Remember that your higher self and source doesn't communicate like a knock on the door or um, a, hey, move out the way. Like that's not the way that there is communication. So be open to all types of guidance. I'm seeing that there's guidance that's coming through with your dreams, with your visions, with your ideas. Some of you are even gonna get ideas dropped into um, your imagination and you're going to be like, there's no way, like there's no way. So a lot of these dreams that you're having, I don't even feel like you've seen them yet. And so there is a needing for the high priestess. This is a very spiritual journey that's leading you to fulfillment community. I also see that you are going to manifest a lot of your dreams through people. That was one thing I kept feeling when I was shuffling this deck. Um, we do have community here 
And I do see that there are people around you that are going to either invest in you, really believe in you, really support you. These are going to be part of your soul tribe. They're going to support your soul dreams. Remember, the dreams of the soul, not the practical dreams that we feel like we want to accomplish. There's a difference. This is a fulfillment. Your dream, the dream that you're desiring to live is a deep, deep fulfillment. So a lot of that's going to come through people. So a lot of the challenges you've had in the past is learning how to trust your instincts. Yes, you can't trust people, but you can trust your instincts so that that betrayal or that lack of trust doesn't happen again. So I, I do feel like there has been a lot of in your head, being in your head about manifesting the dreams that you want. So triumph success. I do see a lot of victory and I do see a new start for you. Woman holding a cone. Yeah. Coin. Yeah. There is definitely, there's definitely prosperity in your dreams. And let's clarify because I have the deck. We're going to clarify really quickly. I know this is going to be a lengthy reading, but it's important. So let's get clarification on the dreams of this deck. The dreams of this deck. Thank you. Ten of Cups. Yeah. A lot of you are longing for a partnership too. A partnership, not, not a relationship. I see a lot of people in my comments like, Oh, we don't care about the love readings, tarot priests. Guys, love is an important part of the journey as far as the expression of love with another person, the partnership. Um, and so this is going to be very important to your dreams as well. If you didn't watch my last pick a card reading about abundance and uh, success, this feels like the deck that was choosing a happy home. Someone who sees a dream as having a family, raising a family, traveling the world, having a partner by their side. You have a lot of abundance in your, a lot of money, a lot of prosperity in your future. Go the distance. So some of you now it's, it's time to start taking action in a more emperor way. Remember the emperor sits on the throne. The emperor is unbothered. Okay. The emperor makes decisions, leads, and is very self-sufficient, very independent, does not depend on anyone to provide. There is a sense of um, entitlement, but it's not in a bad way. It's just, it's the, the ownership of the greatness of who you are. It's like, this is just what comes with the territory is great things in your life, such as money, abundance, good friendships, good community, good support. Lots of money because I keep seeing the coin, but you must go the distance. And I also think with the fortune, there are secrets about your future that you are unlocking. Secrets. These secrets are what makes you the emperor. And these secrets are revealed to you through your dreams, through awareness. Okay. Through being aware, orphaning, orphaned. So yeah, family is a big deal. The wholesomeness of the family, the community coming together. These are part of your dreams that I'm picking up here. And then let me just see what else before I close out the guidance. What else is on the dreams of deck one? The hangman. Also, what I'm feeling like is they're saying something that's blocking is, yes, the patience and the planning. Some of you... Do not jump too soon or maybe impulsively into the dream. Remember that if you're having the dream, there is still a way to accessing that dream. And what I mean by that is everything doesn't need to be revealed at once. It is okay for pieces of the puzzle to come together, pieces of the dream to come together. So the impatience is coming from also just, you know, being anxious for these things to happen, being anxious to live your dreams, but you're really anxious and waiting for yourself because now I see the queen of pentacles. So again, you're, you're, you are going to be very prosperous in this life. This is the dream that you're having. But as soon as you have that doubt and believing that, okay, is this really my dream? Am I really capable of achieving these things? Those are the doubts that are what's putting you in the pit stop. You're just like in this spiritual pit stop. Nothing is really occurring, but it's because spirit is trying to get you to see things from a different perspective. And that perspective is there are blockages and there is a reason why there is patience here. Because if spirit would have let you manifest your dreams years prior, you may not have been able to sustain them. 
See, spirit wants you to live your dream every day, not just one day a year. So it takes time and that's okay. So patience and planning, also planning, really reaching out. If that's whatever it is in the dream, if you're seeing it, if it's an island, if it's a house, if it's a car, these, and I'm not going to use people just yet because I know a lot of you want to manifest partners and you could already have a partner, but manifesting people is a very different topic and a very different pick a card reading. That is different. People have free will. Whereas the materialistic things and the accomplishments that you want to have in this lifetime, I do see you having that. Those are your dreams. And like I always say, your dreams are the DNA to your soul. So these are answers. You're unlocking these secrets to your soul. And so everything matters. Every single thing around you matters. It's not by coincidence and it's not by an accident. So a lot of your fortune and a lot of your future, because we have fortune, and we know that that's a lot of money, good luck. And we have the 10 of Pentacles. It's just, this is like an abundant deck. Very, very abundant. And it's not bad to want things materialistically, but I do see that. So these secrets, they're all around you. These secrets about yourself, your greatness, the things you need to really unlock things, they're all around you. Now we have ceremonies and celebrations. This is your overall guidance to manifesting your dreams. Multifaceted and healthy communication in relationships. So again, you are manifesting a lot of fortune and a lot of abundance. And even if you don't believe that, just remember that that doubt that you're having is what is sabotaging the dreams that you're longing to live. And it's not worth it. The doubt, the fear, the, dis the disbelief is not worth it. And so a lot of you are learning how to trust, trust where you're being led, the tunnel, of what you're going through and the how you will manifest your dreams. Deck number one, yes, healthy communications. Yes, embracing all sides of you because there's multifaceted sides to you. There are multiple dreams that you desire to manifest. Just remember that patience, planning, manifestation can come through people. So your relationships are important. But the most important is now starting to take action so that your dreams can be a reality. We have to turn them into reality so that we can enjoy them here. And that's what you are desiring to manifest. And I do see that you will manifest that within due time. Now, remember that the tunnel is the unknown for a reason. You will not know what you're going to go through to get there, but you don't need to know that. You just need to know where the destination is and start heading towards that destination. All right. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and how to manifest your dreams. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and some insight and some little tips to get closer to your dreams. If you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you. On to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and how to manifest your dreams. I don't know why, but I feel a lot of love. Love, love, love on this deck. All right. Earth pulsing, slow down, time in nature, portal, doors are opening. Let's see what this is about. The moon, lots of things are being revealed right now in your life. And we have Pisces energy on the deck. And Pisces, if you're a Pisces and you chose this deck, we're going to talk because we there's been a lot of Pisces reaching out lately, and I feel like it could be the moon in Cancer. But what I'm sensing is there are a lot of things being revealed, and they're not being revealed just for nothing. They're important to your journey. They are also opening doors. So as things are being revealed, secrets and things more about you, more about the world, and more about how life is short, because I'm definitely feeling that here, doors are opening because of that. So. Even though there's a lot of, I feel like you guys might be an impact. There's a lot of emotional energy here that I'm feeling and I knew that. But what I'm sensing is that some, there has been some disappointment and I am seeing that there are some emotional blockages preventing you from manifesting your dreams. And so these things that are being revealed about yourself and others and the world are actually opening more doors and portals. 
We have the Patience card, Seven of Pentacles, the Empress in the reverse. A lot of you... are definitely creators. A lot of you are definitely creators. Another thing that they're saying is a blockage in manifesting your dream is the indecisiveness, the ability to not decide. There needs to be some certainty here. And remember your certainty is the truth that you stand on. And if you don't believe that dreams are real, then that will create that reality. But they're saying to examine how you feel about dreams. And really, really ask yourself, we have beauty and we also have romantic love. Yeah. So a lot of the things that you're going to experience this year. Wow. This is a massive spiritual awakening. Your dreams are seriously trying to come forth. I'm just seeing that it's not the time. There's still more to learn. Remember that heaven has a stairway. They say the stairway to heaven. It takes steps to get to the dream. A lot of you want to manifest this dream now. You're ready, but there's still more to learn and there's still more to change. This year is very important for you, deck number two. If you chose this deck, 2020 is an important year or was an important year for you. And I'm seeing that because a lot of you are even going to come back to this video in the future and see this and wish that you would have seen it in 2020 this year. And so those of you who are seeing it now, you've done a lot of shadow work. And that is because you're working towards establishing a dream, but again, making up your mind and what is that dream? And not just here, but overall, in a deep perspective of your, your soul, what are your dreams? And again, we have this window shopping card that I keep getting. I keep saying we're not going to be window shopping realities here. So a lot of you have been watching other people live your dreams. And if you watch them or even if you watch specific YouTubers that inspire you, that is also because they are living the dream that you desire to live. So the spiritual awakening is now finding where you fit in into the world and where you fit in knowing that that's going to that's going to be what brings you the success that you're looking for. All right, let's see why this is deck number two. What's going on with deck number two in their dreams? I keep seeing the twos. So if you guys are seeing twos, it's time to make a decision. So if you make a decision towards manifesting your dream, because as soon as you make a decision, life changes. So every decision you make is almost a new, a new reality. And so when you're manifesting your dreams, remember that as soon as you make a decision, the reaction is the change in your reality. Okay, so if I decide to do this, then this is gonna be that reality. So if a lot of you guys are living a reality right now that is not bringing you fulfillment and happiness, and you're not waking up and saying, okay, this is my dream life, and you don't have to be there yet. Some of you are on your way. You're still learning things about yourself and your soul. And remembering that something too, deck number two, authenticity is very important. Hone in on all of the things that make you different and make you stand out, that's going to be a, a, where a lot of your success is at. What's going on with judgment? Why is judgment here for deck number two? Why is judgment here for deck number two? Thank you. Four of swords. Yeah, there's a, there's a sense of disconnect and also just like, when is this going to happen? But you're waiting again on some more active approaches on your part. We have the change card here. So a lot of the things this year have already done the change for you. If you're here, the, the change has already been done. Yeah, the sun card is here. So a lot of you have already went through this change. So if, you, if this year and last year in combination was just like a peek into to a nightmare and all of the things you've been through, even with the judgment, the spiritual awakening that you're having, why is the Empress here? A lot of family things, a lot of emotional things that I'm picking up here. Um, and they were all to get you to change your perspective on how you're living. So the way that you see things, you can no longer see the same because now you know too much. Too much has happened this year and last year. So I do see a lot of happiness and I do see you guys manifesting your dream. So if I were to say that you were manifesting your dream, it's almost like buffering. You're in the percentile of, you know, on your way getting there. And remember that every single decision you make is going to affect that. So the first place to start is what are your dreams? 
what dream do you desire to live? And if there's, I'm also feeling that there could be guilt. And if there is guilt or has been guilt about you living your dreams and others not, it is also time to choose you. That is also going to start manifesting things. What else is going on with deck number two? We also have romantic love. What's that about? Queen of Swords. So yeah, you guys are becoming way, you have to, you guys are becoming more powerful. But what they're saying is you have to claim this power in this authority. Let's see what your blockages were. Yeah, authority. Woo, I'm getting good. I am getting good. Authority. This is more so about the accountability that every single decision you're making is shaping your reality. So choose differently if you want a different reality. So it's very simple. I think that there has been a lot of back and forth, back and forth, and that's where the exhaustion is coming from. Not being able to decide, well, do I want this person in my dream? Let me give you guys some game here. When you are manifesting your dream, bring the people in last. Because when you bring them in first, it affects the entire dream. You figure out how you want to live your dream and then allow that partner to play their part. And you're learning a lot in love, a lot. So if you guys chose this deck, a lot of your dreams are embodied in wanting to have a partnership of just sharing. You're, you want to share the things that you have. And you're learning that it's now just time to make a decision. And that's when you make the decision. That's when you become the queen, the king of, of swords. That's when you become, hey, head honcho, this is my life. This is my dream. You're not going to come and hijack my reality. Okay? So you have to stand your ground in your authority following the light. A lot of you this year had to find something solid in spirituality. And, and here's the thing, and I'm going to start speaking on a lot of this, but spirituality has been very complicated. And even for you, just know that the spirituality in your life, you can feel it. It feels like home. It feels like love. And if this spirituality that you believe does not promote love, freedom, peace, happiness, and bliss in heaven on earth, then it is time to question them. Make sure that you're following the light. How do you know when you're following the light? It feels good. It doesn't feel bad. Lots of spiritual grounding I see that happen this year for you. Hope, yeah. A lot of disappointment, things that didn't really go great. And so you're learning to see beyond things. Okay, I see that this happened, but let me see this from a higher perspective. Why did this happen? And let's just get that answer. Why did this happen? Whatever, whoever question, ha whoever has this question on deck number two, the wheel, it was time for change. Again, two different decks, twice on the board. You know what's crazy? These are tens and it's 2020. This was the year for change. You didn't have a choice because see, sometimes things are happening from a higher perspective for the benefit of our own good. And sometimes we cry over spilled milk. You know how we are. Why did do that? crying over spilled milk and the entire time universe is like, I got you. I just had to move them out the way so I can get you here. But if we don't see it from a higher perspective, we can go back and forth, back and forth with ourselves wondering what should I do? Which way should I go? So make a decision. Once you make a decision, that reality will manifest. A lot of you, I'm hearing that you're afraid to make decisions because you're afraid to make the wrong decision or to fail. Or maybe this was you. You're learning that the doors open when you make your decision. New life. So a lot of you had a rebirth this year. And it was to get you into position to manifest the life that you want to live. To manifest the experience that you want to have here. Goddess of the moon. Again, we have the moon. The moons are playing a big part. So if you feel like you're having an off day from the jump and you know when you wake up and you stub your toe or something happens and you get a text message or an email and it changes the entire day, check the moon. Because I do feel like there are phases and there are cycles that are happening in your life. And there, there are phases that have been happening so quickly that they're ending quickly. And they're saying that the reason why is because your foundation of your dreams and what you want and standing your ground keeps changing. So the more it changes, the more you have to readjust yourself. 
So find certainty in what it is that you want in the dreams that you want to live and obtain so that you can begin to manifest them. Fourth chakra, the heart chakra, lots of emotional blockages when it comes to your dreams. Let's see what's going on here. How do they address the emotional, emotional blockage? Thank you. Six of swords, getting out of the past, letting it go, temperance, Sagittarius energy, seven of swords. These sevens, man, trust, people, build your dreams without the characters so that it's it's solid on your individual dream and fulfillment. Let the characters come last. Yes, do we, uh, yes, we do admire, especially you, because I'm seeing that, to have people to share, to be able to be a part of our dream, but we can't force people to be a part of our dream at the wrong times. And if the same people don't have that same dream, we're not on the frequent, same frequency. And sometimes people change, people's dreams change. And so you're learning how to have compassion also for these people who have come in so that you can release them. Whoever or whatever emotional situation it was that has kept you out of alignment, this is also what has been blocking your manifestations, your dreams. Passion and purpose. Sensitive emotions. Let's see what this is about. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. So now is the time for rest so that you can get back to the drawing board and figure out what dream do you want to live? Not, not worrying about the how just yet. And even though we got into some hows today in your deck, don't worry about the hows. That's where the spiritual faith comes in. That's where the trust comes in. Because there are, will be things that you do not know. There will be blind spots. It's just part of life. And I just see amazing, great things for you in your dreams. So before I wrap this up, just give me a couple cards on their dream life. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Let's see why the page is here for their dream life. Yeah. Patience, again, in the chariot. Things not moving forward. All right. Another thing that I'm seeing for your guys' dreams is you have very beautiful things to come, but they feel very far away. And I feel like that is because of all of the other things that are going on. We have a lot of swords. We have a lot of conflict. And so a lot of you are desiring to fly and you're burdened at the bottom. Okay. And as soon as you start snipping these, you will begin to fly higher. A lot of burdens because I see a very new life. And I feel like you haven't even seen it just yet. You haven't even visualized it yet, but you will begin to start visualizing it. And that's what's going to get the manifestation process going. So if you guys chose deck number two, I hope this gave you guys some clarity and some insight. Wishing you guys the best on establishing and maintaining a dream lifestyle. If you guys chose deck number two, comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you. In the meantime, moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in How to Manifest Your Dreams. The Sun, Creative Spark. I love it. Already, I'm starting to resonate. Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Coins. A lot of you are manifesting. Look, we have the Magician. A lot of you are manifesting success and abundance, money, opportunities, and a lot of financial and material wealth. So the Magician being in reverse, again, is that we'll see why there's a blockage, actually. Let's just see why it's in reverse. Because you and what I'm getting is that you are here as literally the magician of your life so anything that you want you can pretty much have they're saying it's pretty much that easy <laughs> eight of cups now the hard part comes when we have to you know be human and 
we have these emotions and then we have to walk away and our manifestation our manifestation sometimes means that we have to walk away or do things differently. So wherever you're at right now, there seems to be a blockage in manifesting your dream. Yeah, eight, uh, 10 of wands. So something is ending and it's time to move forward. Some of you may even be thinking about relocating. And if you're like, nope, that's not me, next year might change for you. Because I'm seeing that you're, you as the magician, once you come into terms with who you are, that you are the magician, you simply just become it. So a lot of opportunities and things are on hold. They're, they're saying uh, the way that you view your finances and your money, there are also some th things there that need to change. King of Swords, seeing yourself as the pilot of your own plane and destiny. What else is here? Thank you. And the death and the rebirth. So we have Scorpio energy. So it is a rebirth that has to happen and a death. And I know that that sounds very painful. But it's not. It's just that some of the things that you're attached to in your life are not part of the dream. So in order to have the entire dream, you must walk away or let go of certain cycles that you have pertaining to money specifically. A lot of you are artists on this deck. If you guys chose this deck and you're artists, there is a disconnect in the business aspect of you being able to create abundance for yourself because your dream some of you have this idea that if you're an artist because we have creative spark we have sun we have a lot of people who are just creative on this deck as an artist as a creator you are owning and technically we're all artists that's what they're saying like we're all artists we're all here to create every decision we make every thought we have every idea we have is part of us creating the dream so what they're saying is some of the feelings that you have around money, you don't need as much as you think you do. You have enough to create a dream of happiness right now. And I'm gonna explain that. Weight of the world, boundaries, let, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Yeah, so a lot of this heaviness that you're feeling is not yours. A lot of burdens are not yours to carry. These are blocking you from manifesting, becoming the magician. We also have empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So a lot of the standstill in manifesting your dreams is just simply because of the burdens that you have been carrying of others. <clears throat> Some of these are also burdens of your own, specifically with finances. Again, we have a king of cups. We have a king of coins. That would be someone very successful. We have a lot of abundance that you've yet to touch and manifest. Let's just see exactly why that is. Because we have material harvest, rejoice and celebration. The dream is there. Financial constraints. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that it has to be something with finances. All right, so let's talk about this financial situation because a lot of you who feel like you need money to live your dreams, we're going to talk about that. That is a huge misconception that everyone has. Will it make things easier? Yes. But the universe owns everything. Just be happy. You don't need finances to do most of this stuff. A lot of you are creative enough to produce abundance for yourself without the need of investors, uh, more money. There are ways. So they're saying, you look up, if you want to travel, if you want to move, if you have things that you want to do and manifest, even materials, start working towards that. Start walking towards that. And then you worry about the finances later. And that's it right there. Because I can feel it. I can feel you guys like, well, that's easy to say. And that's the biggest blockage I'm seeing is that some of this is just not knowing who you are because if you know who you are you know that you're abundant and prosperous and that's not just financially you you have all you need is also something they're saying the empress yeah so a lot of you are going to be able to create endeavors for yourself just simply because you make the decision to still live your dreams and figure it out figure out a way because they're saying even if you don't feel like you can do it still start start the work start the project it's the starting and they're saying the sustaining all right what else is here for their dreams what else do they need to know yeah so much money 
like some of you guys are just longing for a lot of material success and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just simply addressing these beliefs about money, that I need money to live my dream. I hear very strongly that they're saying, do not wait for this to happen. Go create it. To go create it and step into your empress ability of creation, your magician ability to create opportunities and finances, shifting your perspective around money. It's okay to have money. And I see that there's the money that you're desiring is a harvest. It's enough to go around. It's enough to feed the people around you. We have a lot of harvestry. Okay, but the blockages, the three of swords is a lot of emotional things, things that didn't go exactly how they planned in the past have kind of determined you and how you feel about dreams to come. Like, you know, well, the last time I was wishful thinking about the dreams happening, this happening. Yeah, things are going to happen, but nothing ever happens without a reason. So if something is continuously happening every time you start this dream, they're saying it is also time to address those things. So we have a lot of disappointment. A lot of you are like, I know who I am. I know what I'm supposed to have. I know what I'm supposed to harvest. And let's just see what this is. Deep emotional healing. Letting go. Too many emotions. It's like the way that I'm seeing you is having a whole parachute of other people's emotions and problems and cares and concerns. And it is definitely time to stop carrying the pain of others. And a lot of you are just, you can't help yourself. You're empathetic. You have the ability of empathic. So you have that ability to absorb, but they're saying, let it go. It's not yours. Your other people's journeys and how they get to their dream is not your responsibility. And there might be a few of you who are like life coaches or tarot readers or really just servants who bring happiness to people who help people. A lot of mentorship I see here. And that is because there is like this serving this to you to want to help others but it says your heart is ready to heal from the past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care so they're saying it, it's not a waste of time and it's not a hindrance for you to stop and release it actually is going to jet you up faster because you won't be carrying all of that stuff divine intervention god sends miracles to answer sincere prayers so I do think that you're going to start seeing some things come to life because some of these doubts are because the dreams you haven't really been living as much as you've wanted to. So there is a little bit of doubt there, but I do feel like something is getting ready to happen by, by the end of this year. I feel like something's going to happen that really shows you something to believe in. Okay. Dreams are real. They do exist and they're worth, they're worth going for, but it is in divine intervention. Okay. Stress. Reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. So a lot of you want to manifest these dreams and you're stressed out or worried. Some of you could be parents. I see that some of you are worried about the children. We have the Empress card here. Okay. So there is a lot of things here, but most importantly, the life that I see you living is very substantial in wealth and money. But when it comes to that, there are so many money blockages. So how to remove those so that you can manifest this dream, start looking into removing money and abundance blockages and being aware of your relationship with money because I see why you feel like without the money, you cannot live the dream. That is not true because you can still live the dream. However, money really does enhance you getting there faster. But you don't have to worry about getting there faster because spirit is saying that there needs to be some time to release. So that's why you're on halt right now. The, the releasing has to come. The fears have to come. A lot of you, what I'm hearing is just do it. Just do it. Trapped in fear, just do it. Face the fear so that it, it it's no longer there. Face the fear so it no longer appears. If you never face it, it's still there. It's still there. Hostilities. So a lot of the manifestation, there's a little bit of self-sabotage I'm getting from this entire reading, not just this deck. A lot of people have really good hearts and sometimes we just sabotage ourselves by simply not believing in ourselves, not giving us, you know, not giving ourselves the credit we desire from ourselves. 
So a lot of this is like being your biggest cheerleader because I do see that you're taking on a lot of other things, the temple path. So the temple path, again, I feel as though this is a destination that you are longing to be in. Some of you are longing for some type of commitment. It could be marriage or it could be a partnership with the temple path. That's for some of you building blocks. Yeah, that's what you're doing right now. And remember that there's a stairway to heaven. I've been saying this a lot and I'm going to say this again on this deck. There's a stairway to heaven. So each step is part of your building process to manifesting your dream. But you can still start things in your life and aligning the things that are no longer bringing happiness because those things that are out of alignment are not within the dream. Okay, playfulness, have fun. Don't take it so seriously. Creating comes from a, a place of just being in the zone and creating. It's not coming from a place of being stressed out and, oh, I have to figure this out and I'm abundant, so now I have to figure out how. The universe has already declared on your life that there is abundance and prosperity if you so shall wish to choose that reality. Play, have fun, don't be so serious, take risks, take a leap of faith, build your faith. Make sure that your faith is solid. So when you take a leap, when you land, it won't be so bad. And yes, we always land. The landing keeps us grounded. We're still here on earth. Okay, so the dream and the reality, some the dream and the reality somehow have to coincide. Moment to moment, step by step, day by day. Yeah, it's literally one step at a time. And I know you guys are so anxious and dreams are being revealed. Happiness is being revealed. There's a lot of things are, that are getting ready to come forth in your life. More abundance I'm seeing. Your dreams are worth living for. Slowing down. Listen, I'm just the messenger. New vision. So slowing down because there's a new set of lenses. And I've been saying this, 2020, 2020 vision that you need for the next destination, okay? And so this new vision, the hangman, a lot of us are at a pit stop, but this is giving us time. So use the time wisely, take advantage of it so that you can start building blocks on a more solid foundation. In fact, this quarantine this year has given you guys the time to get things in alignment. When the world slowed down, it forced you to slow down. So remember that in this time, you are building you are building and biggest thing ever is pay attention to the money blockages around your abundance because I do see that abundance and prosperity plays a very important role in your life. But remember also that money is great. It's an enhancer to happiness. But what you're really seeking is freedom, freedom to do, have, be and go wherever you want to go. And that is truly what our all our hearts and souls desire is to be free and money so happily does that for you. So focus on those things so that you can manifest this dream. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys to keep going towards your dreams. Moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your deck in how to manifest your dreams. All right. The courageous, multifaceted, let yourself be seen. The void, stop, embrace winter. Let's see what this is about. Deck number four, how to manifest your dreams. Queen of Cups, follow what you love. Seven of Swords, yikes. You know, we are learning how to Trust ourselves more. I think that this was, this is what it is. It's not trusting other people. It's more so trusting yourself and making harmony. There's just a lot. I knew that there was going to be some heavy energy because we have the seven of swords here. Now we have the nine of swords. A lot of you are anxious. A lot of you are very confused as to where things are going to go. The devil is here playing its part and Capricorn energy is here. And what I'm feeling is that right now and i know i say this a lot but i am seeing that there is a lot of releasing going on in your life so a lot of you may have lost hope this year over um man maintaining your yeah bravery just it's been a lot it's been a lot a lot of you 
have been under some pressure and you know just not really having as much hope about your dreams as you normally would 2020 really did a number let's see what else is here nine of pentacles so things are moving slower for you but what i'm hearing is not to forget about your dream what else is here for court not to forget about your dream the habit dependency yeah we have the devil here twice so a lot of you cannot or are blocked from manifesting your dreams because of the codependency of others or maybe that you feel like you are codependent on. Now, what that means is just depending on others to bring the dream to you or depending on others to make you happy, just be happy. And we have Sagittarius energy also here. So I'm feeling like there is a lot of confusion here, but you still are not losing hope. And that's what I love. So how to manifest your dreams Let's see what's blocking them first. Deception and envy. Trusting yourself. A lot of you are learning how to trust the things that are true and not what we convince ourselves. So trusting the things that are true and not the ones that you convince yourself. The actual truth. We have seven again. So that's why I said, ugh, with this card. It's a lot of lack of trust of others, things that have happened that have created a lot of deception and envy on your part. So if you feel like you've chosen the wrong people to be around or you've made mistakes, maybe that has created this feeling of not being able to make right decisions or choose the right people to be in your life. But I do see that there is spiritual strength is what you're leaning on to manifest your dreams. It's understanding that there's something greater. If it was just you, then, then maybe these things would make sense in your life. But because I'm seeing that there is a greater version of yourself, I'm also seeing that you are becoming that greater version of yourself. Moving on. Yeah, a lot of you, it's an emotional blockage and it's a lot of things that have happened in the past to prevent. They're saying, look forward. Don't look back. There's nothing back there. There's nothing back there. Happy family. Yeah, so the world, traveling, adventure, Lots of beautiful things here, deck number four. Your dreams, have you forgotten them? That's basically the words of your higher self. Your dreams, have you forgotten them? Have you, have you forgotten how important that is? Happy family, traveling. How, what does it mean to live the dream, deck number four? That means to wake up and say, wow, my life is so good. I'm so happy and grateful. Doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or you don't. I'm so grateful for this existence. Thank you for universe for providing me life to explore, to travel. That's living the dream for you. So waking up and thinking about how can I be happy? What would make me happy today? So how do you manifest that is start changing one thing at a time. Some of you, I feel like when you start seeing all the changes, you're, you get overwhelmed and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to do this, I have to align. It's not supposed to be a complicated procedure here. It is just simply releasing, releasing, detaching. I'm learning that most of our journey here is about detachment. Experiencing this life, but not getting attached too much. So you're learning balance for yourself and also imagination, imagine. So you are like a wounded butterfly that I'm seeing. And the reason why you're still flapping your wings is because you still have the spiritual strength. So if you're wondering why this year or maybe last year or maybe this year or the year to come, wherever you're coming in and tuning in from, if you feel like it's been heavy, remember that you're still here. And that is because you are not carrying yourself right now. This is a whole nother entity right here. So this, if you were aware of, you would see that, wow. So there is a divine that loves me unconditionally enough to want me to have the desires to live my dream. Some of you, I'm feeling like there are some religious beliefs that need to be questioned. Make sure that the God that you think that gives you life, because I'm not going to say serve, but the God that you believe is an unconditional loving one, whether that's universe, higher power, higher entity, 
that the universe would give you and create this world, the world for what? That's how much the universe, create, creator, God, whatever you believe, loves us, how much they love us or it loves us enough to want us to live our dream. So I do see that the connect of knowing that this is, that you are not alone in the dreams. Even if you feel like you are, you are still being guided. Even now you're being guided. Okay, so if you guys see birds or anything that has to do with any type of guidance or caring or weight, or if you hear the weight of the world or certain things, just remember that we have guilt. Release it. Those are the things that they're saying. Releasing the guilt. The guilt is one of the lowest, if not the lowest, guilt and shame, lowest frequency on the energy chart. It is very hard to manifest. So this is why a lot of you haven't been manifesting, whether it's blaming yourself, giving up on if this is going to happen, are we ever going to get back to normal? There's a lot of concerns. And so when you start realigning your life, I feel like you kind of get engulfed in like anxiousness or depression. But it is not, spirit is not showing these you these things to change because you're wrong or you made the wrong decisions. Spirit is showing you this out of love in the sense of come this way. So your instincts, your spiritual connection is what's going to help you fly a lot higher postponement. So right now spirit is saying, you know, come sit on the bench. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Okay. Traveling is here burden so look at this all of that you're carrying it's very very hard schizophrenia the two of swords this just means two minds not being able to make up your mind going back and forth anxiety depression there's a lot of things here that are coming up but the best thing is we have temperance here which means it's just time to get back in alignment with yourself in alignment with, with those things that bring you peace harmony love freedom and not guilt shame depression and anxiety choose to follow a different feeling this is going to also help you to see because with you you have to see a little bit to believe it and that's okay some of us have to see certain things to believe that the universe is real or that god is real and so i do think that there are things around but because you've kind of been in your head and you know over here doing all of these things or dealing with this it has been pretty hard for you to manifest at the pace that you would like. All right, and then who you are, co-creation. So you're here as a manifester. You're here to co-create, which means this is why it's so important. I'm gonna get a little bit into this, okay? I'm gonna take some time here. So co-creation, creation. I just said that your creator is very important to your journey because you will be co-conspiring. So that is like a partner. When me and my higher self are doing this, you know, we're, we're talking, I'm shuffling. It's there. The presence is there. So remember that when you're creating, you're not doing it alone. And I feel that if you knew that you had more help and you had more support, specifically from the entity that made you, you would be a lot more confident and assertive in going after your dreams and knowing that you don't need people. Spider woman, you don't need people. Last card is new beginnings. So... A new beginning is necessary for you to manifest your, your dream. The chapter, the old chapter is it's closed. It's over with. And now it's like accepting some of these things. And I know it's a lot. So take your time. That's why things are on postponement. But some of you are still learning in the process. Some of you are, are learning to take one step at a time towards this manifestation of Whatever it is you're desiring in this lifetime. Overall for this deck. Re reliability. Practice, yeah. And unity. Yep, detachment at the bottom of the deck. Detachment. Detachment. Moving forward. Moving forward, taking accountability. Okay, this has happened. I'm ready for a new beginning. Not dwelling on all of the things that have happened in the past because this is what's holding you back from just new is at any second. Any second, new. I can make a decision any time within the next five minutes and that's going to create a reality for me. So they're saying start making decisions, even slow ones, towards traveling. Even if you don't have 
the financial means to travel at the moment, I still feel like driving away or seeing something new is going to help you create. A lot of you, remember, you just have to see that you're a co-creator. You're here to create. Once you accept that, then you're going to start seeing, whoa, I said that. I followed that. I did it. It happened. Okay. And that's how the universe is going to kind of prove itself to you and prove your ability of being able to co-create. I also see embrace the winter. So I feel like around the winter time, you guys will kind of be hibernating more, more family time, more love time. And then also getting prepared for 2021, which is going to be a new beginning. So take that as a sign to start changing different things. Now, this isn't New Year's resolution changes. This is lifestyle change. So if you enjoy eating the way that you do, do not put yourself on a restrict diet if it does not make you happy. So that's why I said it's not a New Year's resolution type of beginning where you're saying, I'm going to do better. I'm going to pray every day. I'm going to do this every day. No, this is just, I'm going to be true to myself every day. I'm going to be true to what I want to do, regardless of what anyone says. I'm going to be true to my heart and what makes me happy. And that's how you're going to become happiness. So you're becoming the emperor too and leading your life and making those decisions. And as soon as you start making those decisions, boop, reality change. Every time. So you're learning that deck number four. I'm hoping that this gave you some clarity and some guidance. I'm wishing you guys the best. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, stay optimistic, stay encouraged, and I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading.